all of me, Smigo, Sam Possible, I'm me, guys. My name is Taffree16. Welcome back to another reaction video. So, I ran a little poll in the community tab of my YouTube channel, which YouTube decided to give me, because they know I would only use it for educational purposes and nothing more. And, well, it was a decently close, there was a decisive winner in that poll. So today, we are going to be reacting to Dad's Army, which I guess is a, uh, I believe a World War II sitcom, which I think ran from, like, Crap, I forget the dates, but I think it was like, it was definitely 60s to 70s. It might have been like 68 to 77. Don't quote me on that at all, because I don't remember. I looked it up a couple hours ago. What? You are so attention-seeking. Why can't you just leave me alone for five seconds? Ah! Why do you do this to me? Why? You don't care at all, do you? No, she doesn't care at all. But... Um, so, this is a BBC show, so, <laughs> proceed with caution, um, as far as seeing this video goes, um, as far as video staying up goes, you know, <laughs> like, uh, if this video magically disappears a couple days after it's uploaded, you've been warned, because it's a BBC show. You're so fucking cute. But, like, but, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. If it magically disappears, you know why. Um, I don't know how old this episode is, but it's in black and white, so I have a feeling maybe from the 60s. So, let's get into it. Alright, so this is gonna be about... My face cam isn't on. That's great. Hold on a minute. Ah, there I am. Alright, so this is gonna be about half an hour. Uh, did I press start recording? I did do that. Um, roughly, roughly a little under half an hour. I just did a quick YouTube search... And there were actually some episodes of this uploaded on YouTube, so if this one gets copyright striked, I might just see if I can get one of them. Um, but, uh, and the only episodes that I could find that were black and white were from the first series, so I'm gonna guess this is from the first series. Um, unless maybe they were, the other ones originally aired in black and white and were remastered. I don't know, let's just watch it. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our guest of honor. One of Warmington on Sea's most distinguished citizens. A man of many parts. Banker, soldier, magistrate, alderman, and secretary of the Rotary Club. <laughs> A good fellow all round. Ladies and gentlemen, Alderman George Mannering. Let's go, George. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Town Clerk, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when I was first invited to be a guest of honor tonight at the launching of Warmington on Sea's I'm Becking Britain campaign. I accept it without hesitation. After all, I have always backed Britain. Yes. 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 I got into the habit of it in 1940. But then we all backed Britain. Yes. Yes. It was the darkest hour in our history. The odds were absurdly against us. But, young and old, we stood there, defiant, determined to survive, to recover, and finally, to win. Yeah, take that, Hitler. You douche. The news was desperate, but our spirits were always high. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler, <laughs> if you think we're on the run? Oh, that's a great theme. Uh oh. <laughs> Retreat, back up, back up. <laughs> hey, it worked out. Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21, but he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? I love that. Oh yeah, episode one, okay. The Man and the Hour. So this is the first ever episode? Maybe? A massive Nazi war machine sure. is pushing its way across Europe. Oh God. Laying waste neutral countries with a savagery unmatched in history. Drop the nuke, America. Oh wait, wrong country. Sorry, Japan, by the way. When Hitler comes up against British troops, it's a different story. They fight him every inch of the way, giving as good as they get. Yeah, they got bikes. 
Is Tommy Atkins downhearted? We'll say he's not. Why should he be with a leader like this? To make Tommy's task more difficult, there's the nukes. Oh no, those parachutes. Brutal struggle. Hordes of parachutists descend from the skies, trained to sabotage lines of communication. And who knows? Even our own shores may not long be spared this, the latest of Hitler's tricks. Uh oh. We all have our part to play, and every effort is being made to confuse the enemy. <laughs> it's gonna switch the fucking slides. I'll show him. Dumb Nazi bastards. Look out, Adolf. Every day our defenses are strengthened. And if they do come, let's give them a sharp run. Fighting vampires? Going home, are they? Sir. Ah, oh, well done, Pike. You, oh, by Jove, these things are heavy. Oh, that's the sand being wet, sir. If you waited for the tide to go out, it'd have been twice as easy. Well, never mind, Pike. They'll keep out the German bullets. That's the point. Don't take so long over the next one. Well, that's not my fault, sir. I spent ten minutes picking the shrimps out of that lot. <laughs> ah, thank you, Mr. Wilson. On there, please. Well, that's uh, the reasonable field of power, I suppose. It covers most of the high streets. Oh, yes. Yes, I think we can quite happily say that Jerry's parachutist will be as dead as mutton from Stead and Simpsons to Timothy White's. <laughs> we'll get a clear run down to the Pier Pavilion if that blast of woman to get out of the telephone box. Oh, that'll be Mrs. Hoskins calling her sister in Petford. She'll only be three minutes, sir. Use her as a decoy. Fuck it. His hand this until is Mrs. Hoskins gets the pips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if he waits until we get the machine gun. It's the last one, sir. What do you mean the last one? They're nowhere near high enough. Oh, well, there's no more sand, sir. No more sand? Nonsense, there's a beach full of it down there. Oh, well, the tide's in. The war's up to here. But right over my mum's Wellington's getting that last one. She won't go on about it. Pike, the dampness of your mum's Wellington's is of very little consequence when the whole of Europe is writhing under the Nazi heel. No, my mum won't see it like that, will she? Well, sir, I, I suppose we could get some more sand at low tide. Time is not on our side, Wilson. Ah. We must improvise. Tell me, how much copper have we got? Copper? Yes, copper. Pennies. Uh, well, I suppose about uh, ten five-pound bags. Don't get them, Pike. Let's Lay waste it and make here. pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ought to do that, you know, sir. Why not? Well, it'll cause a penny shortage in the town. Well? Well, it'll be a very inconvenient, sir. Very, <laughs> <laughs> well, won't they? Don't they know there's a war on? I don't think... Why do they still make like pennies? Oh, Wilson, like... this is no time for red tape. Oh my God. At any moment, hordes of German parachutists may drop on us from the skies. Well, they'll be using all sorts of disguises, you know. Mm -hmm. A whole platoon of them could come dressed as nuns, set up their headquarters in that church across the road, and you'd never notice. Well, I, Fair I point. Think I would, sir. You see, that happens to be the Methodist chapel. <laughs> <laughs> Two back, sir. Ah, well done, Pike. Well done. Uh, the cashier says, will you sign for him as though you're putting him in the vault, or shall we open an account in your name and give you an overdraft? <laughs> I'll talk to him later. <laughs> see who that is, Wilson? Yes, sir. Sir, not to be disturbed. Yes. Now, here, Pike. Take this paper, lick it, and stick it in crosses on the windows. Uh, it's, uh, it's an army dispatch rider from GHQ Eastern Command, sir, and he's got a packet. Oh, poor devil. What oh, not the GHQ. <laughs> it's for you, sir. Oh, ah. Ah, this is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> Pip them to the post, did I? A few weeks ago, I sent a letter to GHQ asking for instructions in case of an invasion. I told them that uh, I held a commission and that I'd served in the last conflict. It's somewhere in the Orkneys, wasn't it, sir? <laughs> I was a commissioned officer, Wilson, and I served in France during the whole of 1919. Yes, but well, after the war. <laughs> Ended in 1918, I thought, sir. Well, somebody had to clear up the mess. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Who were you during the war? Mons, Glibly, Passchendaele. I was a sergeant in the RS. Yeah, oh, never mind that now. <laughs> but did you clear yes, up the sir. mess? No. In view of the grave danger of enemy parachutists landing in the home counties, it has been decided to form a force of local volunteers to guard certain strat uh, strategic points. This force will be known as the Local Defence Volunteers. Yes, Miss King. It's Anthony Eaton, sir. In person. Is <laughs> it very important? We want large numbers of such men <laughs> in Great Britain who are British subjects between the ages, ages of 17 and 65. 17 and 65. The draft. The name of the new force will be 
the local defense volunteer. This name what it describes me of. duties in three words. Here then is the opportunity for which so many of you have been waiting. Your loyal help will make and keep our country safe. Yeah. Right. Let's go to it. Right, back to work, Miss King. Now, first thing we've got to do is set up an invasion committee. Yeah. Right. Let's invade Japan. No, wait, no. Whatever the no. matter, boy. We'll take care of that. Fixer, sticking all this paper. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen to me. We three are the invasion committee. Now, the first thing to do is to appoint a properly appointed commander. A what, sir? Appoint a properly appointed commander. That's me. <laughs> all right? I'll have all commander. Right. You will be my second in command. Oh, thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. What next? Ah, yes. Means of conveying instructions and information to the public. An information officer will be appointed. Pike, that'll be you. The information officer will be supplied with a megaphone. Oh. That's a great idea. Ah. Hold that, Wilson. Yes, of course. All right, take that. Yeah. You'll find that in times like these, improvisation is the keynote to... Success. <laughs> well done, sir. There's What's your megaphone, lad. <laughs> <laughs> now, your first job is to jump on your bicycle and go around the, the town delivering this message. All the local defence coming. volunteers I mean, to report to the church hall at six o'clock tonight. Try he's going to fuck it up, isn't he? Oh, come here. Let me show you. <laughs> All local defence volunteers to report to the church hall at six o'clock today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Well, history repeats itself, Wilson. Times of peril always bring great men to the fore. <laughs> Wellington, Churchill. Al Jolson. Al Jolson. <laughs> Just a little something there. Just a little bit. It's, 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 it's gonna stay. There's a boy coming home on leave. There's a girl wants him home on leave. I mean, must call for six o'clock. It's twenty past. Where is she? I could have had time for a round of golf. Do you know that? I've just bought a new... Excuse me. Excuse just me. one moment. Do you mind getting back? We're waiting for the appointed commander. I am the appointed commander. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, there you are, sir. Tell me, did you, uh... Did you get the enrollment forms? No. Well, haven't they got any at the police station? They wouldn't let me have them without putting in an, an application form. Well, then why didn't you, sir? They haven't got any. Oh, I see. <laughs> I got those, however. Oh, but, but look here, these, these are paying in forms. Oh, sir. don't keep putting obstacles what? in the way, Wilson. <laughs> get the first man. All right, hello, sir. Right, sir. Would you, uh, Should have just would you mind him. stepping this way, please? Wilson, yes. well, come here, come here. What? I intend to mold those men out there into an aggressive fighting unit. I'm going to lead them, command them, inspire them to be ruthless killers. And I'm not going to get very far if you're going to invite them to step this way, am I? <laughs> quick march is the order. Ah, there it is, sir. All right, quick march! Not much point, I'm here already. <laughs> <laughs> Name, James Fraser. Occupation? I keep a philatelist shop. How do you spell that? S-H-O-P. <laughs> I imagine you've not had any previous army experience. No, none at all. No, we can usually tell, can't we, Sergeant? Yes, we can, sir. Once yes. a soldier, always a soldier. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. I'm a sailor. <laughs> Chief Petty Officer, Royal Navy. Retire. Sign there. Are you swearing? I never said a word. <laughs> <laughs> you army me fact. Army, army taking a swearing an oath of allegiance. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, of course we are. We're going to do that later. Wait outside. Come on. Boys Brigade, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Have to watch that man, Wilson. Yes, sir, yes. Bolts you lot, these jack tiles. Yes, I've had a pretty good one. Next man. Right. Crazy boat man. Right, please. All right, quick. Quick march. Yeah. All right. Halt. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Name? Uh, uh, Godfrey. Uh, Charles Godfrey. Occupation? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm retired, but I was 25 years in the civil service. Oh, really? Indian or British? Uh, civil service stores. <laughs> <laughs> Any previous military experience? Well, I was several years in the sports department, of course. Uh, that meant archery uh, and air guns. Uh, yeah. That counts. I uh, no doubt your knowledge in specialist fields will be of great use to us. 
What do I sign up? What do I? Oh, I'm not to. <laughs> is that all? For the moment. Uh, don't I get a receipt or something? This is a fighting unit, not a dry cleaner's. <laughs> <laughs> do that, would you please? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, right turn, quick march, and just veer around to the right. <laughs> Evening, gents. Name? My card. <laughs> Joe Walker, wholesale supplier. Huh? I suppose you won't be with us very long. You'll be called up any day, I should think. Oh, no, God, no, no, no. I'm, uh, what's his name? Uh, reserved occupation. How do you make that out? Well, I'm an wholesale supplier, aren't I? I mean, I supply central supplies. You're a pussy, basically. Most experience? Well, I've got a girlfriend in the ATS. <laughs> 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 You're right. Oh, uh... By the way, any time you gents uh, require anything, you know what I mean, just uh, give us a tip, you know Thank what Thank I mean. you very much, yes, we'll bear it in mind. Right, right turn, quick march. Pardon? <laughs> right Let's walk turn, out the door. quick march. Well, you might wait for the ink to dry. Oh, God. Oh, stand out, ace! Evening, Mr. Manring. Evening, Mr. Wilson. You know me, don't you, sir? Hey. Yes, Mr. Jones, the butcher, from the high street, isn't it? That's right, Chuck. Don't you think Mr. Jones is perhaps a little bit too old, sir? Old? Who are you calling old? Oh, no. <laughs> you give me a chance to get to those Jerry parachutists, I'll soon sort them out. <laughs> yeah, the butcher. Yes, of That's a ticket, sir. I'm as keen as mustard. Have you any previous military experience? Now you're talking. I signed on as a drummer boy in 1884. Later, <laughs> saw service in the Sudan, caught the fuzzy wuzzies. Fuzzy wuzzies, they were the boys. They'd come at you with a great long knife and zip you right open. They <laughs> <laughs> soon find out if you've got any guts or not. <laughs> Them fuzzy wuzzies, they was the only one that could break the British square. Not like those jerrys, they couldn't break the skin off a rice pudding. <laughs> they don't like the cold steel, you see, sir. They don't like it up them, you see, sir. They don't, they don't like the... F Get him a chair. Oh, God, he's having a stroke. <laughs> He's hyperventilating. I'm not as young as I was, sir. <laughs> oh, that's not going to stop me being in there with the baby. No, 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 quite sure, Mr. Jones. I think you've made your point. Yes, sir. Just sign that, would you? Please. Yes. Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. Sign well, here to fuck up Nazis. <laughs> 1915, sir. I was in bleeded out, sir. The old minces. I couldn't quite make the focus, I see, sir. Presumably, that's why you've signed the table. <laughs> Thank you, Barton, sir. <laughs> right. Thank, Thank you, sir. you, Mr. Jones. Oh, sir. Yes. There's, um... There's a couple of pounds of steak there, sir. Compliments of the house. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, sir, uh, what about my stripe? Your stripe? <laughs> <laughs> I was in Lance Corp for 14 years. Can I keep it? No, Jones, I'm afraid you can't. Well, in that case, I'll keep the steak, I think. <laughs> Let's, let's not be too hasty about this. <coughs> we shall be needing NCOs, you know, Wilson. Oh, yes, of course we will, sir, yes. Yes, and I've no doubt that uh, Mr. Jones's previous military experience could stand us in very good state, st stead. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right, that's all. Lance Corporal Jones. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman. Well, TTFN, how about... Right, please, right, please, right, please, right, please. Can I do you now, sir? <laughs> yes, very good. Very good. He's going to be the first to die. Totally good. <laughs> Poor man. Well, we'll, uh, we'll share this later, shall we? Uh... Okay. It out pretty quick. Right, who's in charge here? I am, why? Right, well, get this ball cleared out at once. What? Come on, get these blokes out of here. Are you out of your mind? Do you realise that history's taking place in there? In five minutes' time, an ARP lecture is taking place in this hall. I am trying to enrol men for the LDV, and if you're not very careful, I shall requisition this hall for military purposes. You're too late, mate. It's already been requisitioned for the civil defence for my purposes. So get this lot out Bet. so I can carry on with my lecture. Are you asking the army to retreat? Why? I know you've had plenty of practice lately. Oh. 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 Look, gents, we don't want to get excited, do we? I mean, I've got my job to do and you've got yours. If you want to carry on here in this office, well, it won't bother me. But get this other lot out. Quick, sir. Go. Lonely, hold it in all but... Come on. Oh. So what are you going to do, sir? We've only enrolled four so far. Well, she just jumped him. The four managers. Get them all in here. All right. Yeah. Right, come on. At the double. All Inside here. here. All of you. Come on. Come on. Oh, Lord, this is a great right. idea. Oh. Gather round. Quick as these. We all in. Yep, this is the best idea you've had all day. Now then, you've answered your country's call today. We're all here to defend our homes and our loved ones. And I know that you will not shirk that duty. With no guns, we are naked. 
But we have one invaluable weapon in our army, ingenuity and improvisation. That's two. <laughs> I want you all to go to your homes, gather what weapons you can, and come back here in an hour's time. From tonight, whatever the odds, we Englishmen, we, we British, <laughs> we here are going to be able to say, come on, Jerry, we're waiting for you. Don't forget your gas mask. That's all. Little miss. Thank you, sir. That's really very nice. Oh, yeah. Thank Thank you you wave me goodbye. Here we go. Here I go on my way. Wish me luck as you wave me goodbye. Squad, attention. Try and get it right. Squad, stand at ease. <laughs> Good enough. Attention. <laughs> All right, sir. The men are all ready for your inspection. <laughs> Looks like the penguin. Very smart, Corporal. What's that supposed to be, boy? It's a broom. <laughs> well, you said if you hadn't got anything else, we'd tie a carving knife to a broom handle. I didn't say keep the brush on the end of it, you stupid boy. Well, he should have said. I don't want any insubordination. Take this man's name, Sergeant. Now, what's your name, lad? Well, you should know by now. You've been a friend of my mum since before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, it doesn't happen again. <laughs> where did you get that gun? Eh? The gun, where did you get it? Well, Texas. It belongs to my friend, actually. I see. <laughs> He's got a friend. Uh, a gun. Yes, I can see that, sir, yes. Well? Yes, well. I'm the officer. Yes, sir, quite. You're the sergeant? Quite, yes, sir. We ought to have that. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to ask you for it. Well, don't you think you would have uh, more authority coming from you, sir? No. Right. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Mr. Mannering would rather like to have your rifle. Who would like to have uh, it? Captain Mannering. But he can't have it. Now look here, Godfrey. Hand over that gun at once. I, I don't see why I should. Are you refusing... This is Texas. You would have been shot service? by now. Realize we can have you shot for this. <laughs> That'll be a bit tricky since he's the only one with a gun. Permission to speak, sir. Permission granted, Corporal. He makes a good point. Why don't we take it in turns to have the gun sir? <laughs> what an excellent idea. Draw up a router. Put my name at the top. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's a very formidable looking weapon. Ah, a poor man without an end, give him that. <laughs> you needn't have bothered to dress. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> effect, it's my wife's birthday. You see, we're going out for a little dinner celebration. Uh, do you think you're going to be long? Well, that rather depends on Jerry, doesn't it? <laughs> Not that we want to interfere with your social arrangements. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Um, I would have asked you too, and we haven't really been introduced, have we? No, we haven't, have we? Well, we can soon arrange that. We are introduced Captain Mannering. I'm afraid I didn't quite catch your name. Wilson! What do you think you're doing? Oh, I don't know. I just thought he might ask me too. <laughs> <laughs> your wife's birthday today, yes. is it? You got a nice present, I suppose. Well, in all this confusion, I just haven't had time. Yeah, hang on a sec. Here, cop hold of that, will you, Taffy? Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> Anything there, you fancy? <laughs> I say. There you are. Look, there's a nice little thing. Fifteen jewels, solid eighteen carats, Swiss made, waterproof, shop proof. Can't get them anywhere these days. I'll tell you what, ten quid and it's yours. That's it. Oh, generous of you. Thank you very much indeed. So, thank you. Don't suppose I could interest you in anything, could I? Yeah. Thought not. Well, then it is. Anything. Splendid turn out, man. He's got scammed, golfer boy. If in one hour we can achieve this formidable fighting potential, think what we could do with a week's training. Now, I've got some good news for you. GHQ are rushing our weapons and uniforms down here at once. Oh, that's good, sir. Maybe here any moment. Meanwhile, time is not on our side. The enemy may strike tonight. So, we must learn how to deal with it. Damn Germans. Squat down on the floor. At the double? How can they squat at the double? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to squat twice as fast, bro. Now, Sergeant Wilson has very kindly drawn this representation of a German tank for us. And I want you to observe the following point. <laughs> Heavy armor in the front here, usually four inch plating. 40, 50 or 60 millimeter repeating cannon here. Heavy machine guns here and here. Light machine guns here, here and here. High pressure flame thrower here in the front. And I'm told on very good authority, two hand grenade throwers. Cool. Jesus. A very formidable opponent indeed. But we're going to tackle it. The question is, how? Now, how about uh, some sugar, sir? Sugar? Yes. How would you use it? Well, you stick it in the petrol tank 
And the engine fizzles out. Yeah, that's right, sir. I read about yeah. that somewhere. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That sounds a very good idea. Don't get you, Indeed. Shall I put in an application for an extra sugar ration, sir? Yes, we can try it once. If it doesn't work, we'll put the rest in our tea. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't see it on the onions. Spuds. Spuds? Yes. You stuck one up the exhaust pipe, <laughs> and that fails the gases from coming out the engine, and the engine stops. Yeah, that's ah. right. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, Corporal, these Nazi tanks are equipped with very long, thin exhaust outlets. Well, we could use long, thin spuds. <laughs> You're not beauty, sir. King They're Edwards. Man's a genius. Oh, what about current? That's not thin. Yes, yes, do that. If uh, that doesn't work, can we have some chips? Uh, <laughs> Arrest that man. Well, now, your suggestions have stimulated a very lively discussion, but I think for today we'll concentrate on my methods. Now, here are the weapons. Blanket, tin of petrol, crowbar, petrol bombs, and a box of matches. Now, this is the procedure. First of all, we take cover, concealing ourselves from the tank. Here, here. <laughs> you hear the tank coming, and as it draws level, the first man... Soaks the blanket in petrol, breaks cover, and rushes towards the tank. That's now, a good idea. a tough commando like boy for this. Pike, you. The second man will then light the matches, rush to the blanket, and set fire to it. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Can yes. I volunteer for that, sir? Oh, very well, Corporal. Thank you, sir. Told you he's first to die. <laughs> All clear so far? Yeah. Fraser, yeah. you will prise open the lid of the tank with the crowbar. <laughs> Walker will have a bottle in each hand which will be ignited by Corporal Jones, and they will be pushed into the aperture. Any questions? Yes, sir. What are you going to be doing? <laughs> I shall be observing from behind cover and uh, deciding whether or not to send in a second wave. <laughs> <laughs> now, you must understand that the most important part of the whole operation is the decoy. It is essential that one man draws the attention and the fire of the tank gunners to him and away from us. You better be the decoy. Graceful. You, you. <laughs> right, let's try it by numbers. His face. Come and get your weapons. Right. right, decoy, over here. You work over here in this corner. That's it. There we are. Godfrey? Godfrey, you're in charge of the tank. Over at the other end of the room. There we are. Now, uh, Sergeant Wilson, Wilson, we'll throw a whistle when we're ready to go. Thanks, Sarge. Can I put the petrol on my blanket now? Oh, of course not, Bob. Of course not. This is a dummy run, for heaven's sake. Right, stand by. All right. Start them off, Right, up you go. I, I say. Um, oh, that's no good. Look at the <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so angry. Draw that fire. Come on, do it again. And I, I say, you, you fascist beasts. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the blanket? <laughs> Sorry, sir, I didn't even come in. Come on in. Oh. <laughs> Start again. Start, start again. All right, back here. Come on. And this time, make a noise like a tank. All right, stand by. <laughs> I say, you fascist beasts. You sound like angry bees. Right, stand by. Let's go. Hold them up. Start it. Start it. Get the matches to light, sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, start again. Start again. Here we are, sir. <laughs> Pike, take charge of the matches this time. All right, sir. Well, I, I, I'll have the blanket, sir. All right, Corporal. Right, 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 off you go. We are going to hang now, watching on them. He went straight after him. It's your bedtime. I can't come now, Mom. <laughs> Yes, dear, well, you'll just have to blow it up tomorrow. Oh, well, I was surprised at you. After all, you know what time he goes to bed. <laughs> go along, Frank. Yes, go along, Frank. Go along. Um, rep. Will you be round later, Arthur, for your usual? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fall in. Come on. Uh, lorry, lorry from GHQ, sir. Ah, this is it, men. Our weapons and uniforms are oh, right. Yeah. All right. Captain Mannering, sir. Yes, come along. I think I know what you've come for. Just sign there, sir. Yes. Sergeant, call the men in outside to help unload. Oh, oh I don't yeah. think that'll be necessary, sir. What? Here are your uniforms and your weapons. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Good Lord. It's pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Enemy. we throwing in the face of. <laughs> Five feet. Well, perhaps not quite what we'd expected, but... Uh... Every weapon in our armory is another nail in the enemy's coffin. Yeah. Hand out the armbands, Corporal. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Sergeant, dish out the paper. paper. All right, 
All right, take one of these. Each one. Thanks, sir. There you are. Well, come up to you, Major. Uh, and take it with you wherever you go, men. If you see any parachutists, let them have it. That in the cold steel, sir. That's the spirit, Corporal. Yes, well, we're making progress. A short time ago, we were just an undisciplined mob. Mm -hmm. Now we can deal with tanks. We can kill with our pikes. We can make them all sneeze with our pepper. <laughs> and after all, even the Hun is a very poor fighter with his head buried in a handkerchief. Yeah. But remember, men, we have one invaluable weapon on our side. The we fighting spirit. We have an unbreakable spirit yeah. to win. Hitler be down. A bulldog tenacity that will help us to hang on while there's breath left in our bodies. You don't get that with Gestapo's and jackboots. You get that by being British. So come on, Adolf. We're ready for you. Yeah. Yay! Fuck you, Hitler. Yay! All right. That's what's up. That man can take Hitler. So can that man. All these men can take Hitler. Especially that guy. Especially that guy. That crazy dude can take Hitler. Maybe not that guy. Maybe not him. Maybe not him. But that guy. That guy can take Hitler. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not him. No, maybe not. No, no. Mrs. Pike, though, she can take Hitler. Definitely. She'll just throw pepper in his face. He'll be fucked. What are you gonna do if someone throws pepper in your face? I mean, think about it. If someone throws pepper in your face, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do nothing. You'd be like, oh fuck, there's pepper in my face. What can you do about that? Nothing. Fuck you, Hitler. Here's pepper in your face. There you go. Alright. David Croft. Love it. BBC. Be nice to me. You probably won't be, because you almost never are. But a man can dream, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is going to do it for my reaction to Dad's Army. I enjoyed that. I feel like, uh, obviously there's a lot of humor that I couldn't have gotten just because it's, uh, you know, more British humor. It wasn't really focused towards me. But I still thought it was pretty funny. If you want me to react to an episode, maybe I'd actually be willing to do another video of maybe doing one that was in color. You know, if you guys be interested in that. Let me know. If you didn't like my reaction to the show and you never want me to see it again, then just say, don't do it. Um, if you want to see someone react, I mean, Americans react to a... I lost my train of thought. If you want to see Americans react to an episode of this in color right now, the Postmodern Family did an episode of it. If you didn't like their reaction, um, um, hey, look, a distraction. That's cool, right? Yeet. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for this video today. Again, the poll that I showed at the beginning of the video, this one over uh, this morning. This morning will probably be the next video. Maybe? How long ago was Commercials 9? How many videos ago was Commercials 9? Hmm. Because I gotta do 10. 10, by the way, is going to be like an hour and a half because it's the big finale. Um, it won't be the last of the commercials, though. We're currently planning on doing one more commercials video um, in uh, in November and then never in December. Oh, wait, but there's a Halloween special on Wednesday. Should I do... Maybe I should do the Halloween special and then commercials 10 and then this morning. Or I could do the Halloween special this morning then commercials 10. What do you guys want to see more? Commercials 10 or this morning? I'll probably just make another poll. But anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, you can be sure to press the like button. If you didn't like it, it's okay. Now everybody's like, everybody's finger, press the dislike button if you want to. But if you don't think I'm Clue Bastard, I'm going to stick around for a while going in the future on the channel. Be sure to press the subscribe button. If you want to see what's going to be posted today on the channel, you can check the link in the description for the blog on WordPress.com. If you want to check out my Twitch where I stream every single day, the link that is also in the description as well as, as, well as the links to my Patreon and my wait and my twitter and my patreon if you want to support me that's it but that being said my name is taffer 16 this has been my reaction to dad's army i'll see you guys next time bye i just hit myself in the face when i waved bye still again what the fuck